So now we successfully have our locally installed WordPress blog running on the MAMP server and you know let's say we want to start working with some theme development here or working with the site well you know thanks to dream with the CS5 and its new integration with WordPress it makes it pretty easy to do that so what we have here is you know here's the site as you've seen it before the the default install with a sample post and, and all those kind of things so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to Dreamweaver CS5 and I'm going to bring up the files panel and click on the drop down here to manage the sites. So we need to create a new site here. I'm just going to call this one UI Buzz Development just so I can distinguish it from any live sites that I may have. And for the local site folder what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on here and I'm going to go across and I am going to point it at the applications folder and then I'm going to scroll all the way down to MAMP I'm going to go into the htdocs folder where the websites are published and UI Buzz and there's our WordPress blog there and I'm going to click choose now what I need to do is go down to servers and I need to tell Dreamweaver a little bit about this site so I'm going to click on the little plus here to add a server and I'm going to call this the testing server I'm going to change the connection to a local or network because they're local files. I'm going to click on the server folder here and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go down to applications and I'm going to go across and I'm going to click on HDDocs and UI Buzz and choose. And what we need to do for the web URL is to give it that local address. So in this case we know it's localhost on port 8888 forward slash UI Buzz same as we put in the web browser. Now what I need to do though is I'm just going to go across to advanced here and you know you can set anything you want in here but what you need to do is go down to the testing server in server model and just click there and you need to choose PHP MySQL since that's what's powering the website and click save. However notice that by default what Dreamweaver CS5 does it actually chooses it as a remote server. Well, that's incorrect for what we need, so I'm just going to click there to remove that. I'm going to click to say that's our testing server. So anytime we do any t running or testing, it's going to use these local files as the testing server. And now I'm just going to click Save. It's going to go through and update the site cache. And click Done. And now here you see in Dreamweaver, there's our WordPress site on our local MAMP server. And what I can do is I'm just going to go in and choose index PHP. However, notice that of course, you know, it's a dynamically generated website, so there's there's nothing to see here at the moment. Well, well it's so fine, what we can do is we can take advantage of some Dreamweaver features here and I'm going to click to say, yep, I'm going to use live view as it's suggesting. And so there you go. Now we're actually seeing in Dreamweaver the live view of the dynamically generated PHP based website.